Minds, it is Crash Master, and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video. <laughs> and mice today, it is sadly the last texture pack we are going to be doing on, like, um, practically the regular versions on the, um, the, um, how, what's it called actually? It's called the, uh, what is it? The, um, the official, the legacy console editions. No more Wii U, um, no more Wii U, no more, well, Nintendo Switch or is technically also Wii U in a sense of the texture packs. Um, Wii U slash Nintendo Switch, um, which we never really even did. So maybe if there's something new over there, I'll check it out. I'll, I'll have to look it up. But, mites, no more PS4, no more Xbox One regular texture packs. Mites, we in the future from now on are going to be doing Minecraft texture packs. The new Minecraft bedrock slash engine slash better together version the official minecraft nowadays called but mites this is actually called the mass effect texture pack and mites i've actually seen this uh, quite a few times because i keep coming back to this world for no reason and using the texture packs on some of my friends worlds and private worlds because it looks so cool it's got like a few it's based on the game mass effect like the mass effect series it's got like such a really cool vibrant color scheme it's got really really nice futuristic looking places this is actually wall mites most of this is practically wall look this kind of like engine coalish block is orange wool. This is orange wool, not black, not gray. <laughs> orange. But without further ado, we're gonna get into it right now. So we got like a little bit of a ship, which looks like it's um supposed to be um a part of the series. What is this? I like this wool. Pink. <laughs> nope, not light blue or blue. It's actually pink. This is actually a crafting table. All right. That actually looks pretty cool too. All right. Here's the chest. Looks like an actual like futuristic Mars chest. Like this would be like what is set down on Mars. All right. Got some wood. Got some cookies. Got some cactus, and we got some white wool as well. This actually does look like white wool in a sense. It kind of looks like the um Star Wars um um what is it on the Millennium Falcon? The ship's called. I'm pretty sure. Um, it actually does look like the symbol on it. Wait, was that a witch? What's this thing? Um. Okay. What is that? What is this block? Oh, it's probably redstone or something. Or it could be black wool for all I know. Who knows? Alright, we got um we got a track, a redstone track it seems, so what does this lead us? Absolutely nowhere. Okay. So there it is, boys. It actually is on Mars too. The planet is set on Mars. Which, as you all know, if you are a science fan just like I am in general, or love science, you're a scientist, whatever you want to call yourself practically, you might actually already know that humans are set to go into Mars just in a couple of years. And it is very, very great. That's going to be the first official planet that we are going to discover. Not the moon, because obviously the moon is not a planet, it's a moon. But this is going to be the second body of space that we have actually set foot on besides the moon. Um, this is going to be quite a big achievement in human history, if I say so myself. And there is quite a few things on the outskirts of the world, but we are going to get onto it. I just want to see if there's actually some way inside of here. This is a wooden pickaxe. This must be made of obsidian or something, because this is really not breaking. Or bedrock, who knows. But, mites, let's actually just get right into the video, well, officially. And let's actually go look at some of these, um, we got a few, like, buggies or mobiles, whatever you want to call them. Got a few space rovers around the area to drive on. What's this? Oh, this must be a redstone block because I saw the redstone particles. Yep, pretty sure I'm not even going to get it. Let me just eat a cookie. Ah, delicious. Not as good as pumpkin pie, but pretty good. All right, um, what is this? Oh, I thought it was going to be some sort of Minecraft, Minecraft try. I think that's actually gravel. <laughs> oh, no, it's clay. It's actually clay. I like it. Even though it looks like it should be something different, I like it. And I'm, I'm assuming that this is... Yep, I love the rails. The rails look so cool. That's one of my favorite things in this whole texture pack. So as you can see, Mike, it's practically just a whole futuristic looking base area. You could practically... These are like our motherboards, computers, microchips, um, energy beams, whatever you want in science fiction. Okay, Mike, uh, bad news. <laughs> My control died. It just died. Yep. Okay, so let me quickly just unplug that. And I'm going to use my backup controller, actually, if it can connect. Not sure why it's not connecting. It should be connected already. Okay, let me try one of these other controllers real quick. Um, nope, that one's dead as well. Okay, um, that's awkward. Okay, Mike, so um, let me just try to find... Okay, so hopefully, I'm really, really sorry. I probably should be cutting this out of the video, honestly. It's um hopefully for this thing. It, it does look like it is charged. I charged this yesterday. So I'm waiting for it to, to sync up. Okay, okay. Please, please, please sync up. Please sync up. Please sync up. 
Okay, but why it's basically this is practically like the best kind of texture pack or mashup pack if you want to say it like that for any like roleplay series, anything based on a series like futuristic, like um kind of like the Halo one in a way it does remind me of, but at the same time it is completely different. It's got like anything you want from um, microchips to to like anything sci-fi. These could be like a kind of computer sort looking block in a way. And for some reason, this controller of mine is not syncing up with the Xbox. So, I'm gonna quickly just replace my battery pack. Hopefully, this could work. Really not sure. Okay. Is it working? Okay, now the battery pack's not. What the heck is going on? Come on. Why did that controller turn on and not this one? Please don't tell me this controller broke out of nowhere. I don't get it. Moist, this completely makes no sense. Wow. I am so sorry you have to hear me struggle just to get out of remote. Okay, Moist, you know what? I'm gonna go get some batteries. We'll walk out something, plug this in, something of a sort. So yeah, Moist, I'll be back in just one quick second. Hello mods, I am back once again, and I just realized that I didn't try one of my other controllers in the batteries, and it looks like it actually is pretty good. Luckily, I have these spare controllers on me in case anybody wants to play, or in case I need to recharge batteries that I don't have. Alright, so, basically, yeah, as I said before, actually, whoa, what is this block? Is this gonna be, I think a lot of the cool blocks might, honestly, if I'm gonna be honest, 30% of the blocks probably in this area is gonna be made of dirt or gravel or especially wool, because as you can say, this is grey wool, well, it, it is pretty grey, it's more like a light grey, honestly, but the whole place itself is really, really spick and span, it looks very, very well made, so I have to give, um, well done, well done to, um, basically, the whole entire team at Mojang, or Mojang, whoever, whatever you want to call it. Actually, what's this? Is this orange wall? No, 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 the, orange, the other one was... Oh, this is actually a bookshelf. Okay, so, unless you pick up any items specifically, it's probably not going to look the same as regular Minecraft. Like, you can tell this act, this pretty much is like a blue-gray book. But the whole entire place just looks so great and futuristic-looking, futuristic tech. It just looks all futuristic. Sum it up, futuristic. That's just the one word. The futuristic texture pack. Alright, so let's see. How do we get on that second floor? Guess we're gonna have to do a little bit of parkour real quick. This is probably glass. Yep, I thought so. Okay, let's go in here first. Right, let's see. So we got a few more other blocks around. Seems to be some sort of main control area slash office. Right, got the got a few windows around the place. Right, let's see. What is this? This is probably like um how what is this exactly? Let's see. This is yep. That's wood. That's uh actually I want to see what this is. This actually looks like a really nice block. If I can actually grab it. Um, oh, it's an iron door. Okay, Mike. So the doors look really, really nice too. It would be really cool if you could kind of like, um, like I know there's other mods in Minecraft and stuff like that, but um, I wish there was a way to actually kind of like make it look like, um, make it look like it could slide open. But on the other hand, the pressure plates do make it look really, really good anyway. Right? I think this actually, this is probably the crafting table, right? Yep, this is the crafting table. Let's actually get a look at a few of the items. And one thing I have to say, the stick looks like it should be kind of like a sword or some sort of weapon. This does not look like a regular stick, might. It really does not. I have to say, let's see the diamond sword. I want to see the diamond sword real quick. Um, I don't know. Oh, my computer. Something about it. I'm not sure. The diamond sword looks like some sort of proto saber. At least, um, that's what I'm going to call it, the proto saber. It's from, I think that's an actual weapon from a, from a, it's not a video game. It's a, it's a show. I can't remember the name of it. Um, if I can, I'll put it on, uh, I'll put it, like, on, uh, subtitles or something like that, probably, on my, on, on the video, so, yeah, but if not, then, well, don't bother looking for it anywhere, right, um, or this is, this has to lead to someone, these are iron doors, so it's gotta lead to something, right? Um, nope, apparently I was just duped, <laughs> oh well, okay, oh, actually, wait, wait, I think the sun's going down, let's actually get a look at the sun, that is really good. It looks like a few other texture pack suns too. Just like a perfectly square slash circle sort of as a circle 
as much as you can get in a game full of squares and um, blocks, pretty much. <laughs> so, but, on the other hand, it is looking really, really good, too. So, let's see. Let's go over here. Alright. Honestly, I am quite jealous. I feel like that should be the actual Minecraft um, sun. It looks really good. Whoa! Also, the pictures look really cool, too. That looks like a full-on mainframe full of computer screens and whatnot. Look at this. I don't even want to break any of this. This looks like this is like something I want to wake up in real life too much, honestly. Ooh, what's that? What's that? Ooh, another screen. There we go. What is this? I think this is um what block is this actually? We couldn't we weren't able to break it because the boss were blocking it. So can we grab it? Uh nope, unfortunately we cannot. Alright, nothing in these there seems to be nothing in the chest at all. Nothing around in these chests whatsoever. Alright, let's look around. Keep looking around, Mike. It's gotta be something. Oh, is this some sort of vent? Nope. <laughs> That'd be so cool if there was actually like a little vent shaft and everything like that. Uh, that would be so cool. Right? I hear a spider, so we're gonna have to be on the guard. Be on the guard right now. Right? Looking around. Oh, iron doors. Uh, as usual, no pressure plates or anything. Please don't just be a wall. Please don't be just a- Yes! Right, I knew it! There is something here. And let's take a look. Let's see what the- You're kidding me. This is gonna take forever. Okay, Mike. So maybe we'll come back here if you guys are curious enough and want to leave a comment. But unfortunately, I do not have the time or patience to keep breaking away at that whole entire thing. I have to admit, though, this place does look. Whoa! Okay, that place is probably filled with more mobs than I can actually see. So we are obviously not gonna go down there. Okay? Okay. So let's keep looking around. Let's go back over here. Right, anything else? Um, nope, nothing else. So, uh, this seems like we are pretty much explored this whole entire area. So, let's quickly run back all the way back there. Right to the main entrance slash hub area, as I'm going to call it. Right. Whoop, did a little bit of parkour. Looks like it actually broke. Because that does not look like it was made to do on purpose. Right, another room. Looks like this might be an engine room or some sort of power chamber. Obviously, because of this, this seems to be some sort of power core. Right. Oop, that actually, I don't even know what that is, but it does look pretty nice. Right, just eat another cookie real quick. Yum, 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 yum. Ah, cookies taste really good. Not as good as pumpkin pie, but good nonetheless. Right, let's see, what does all this do? Oh, it's probably like a machine to actually power up the entire thing. Making a little bit of motion. That would look so cool. I could probably just, um, someone could probably just, um... Um, practically just go invisible and actually make it look like it's working or maybe just do some nice little bits of redstone tricks if you're up to it too All right, let's look around this place on the other side. So any more entrances or any more doorways anything like that around the sorts? No Moritz, right, so it looks like this actually might be it. Wait, did we already go through here? Um, yep, we did. All right, well, it looks like this is the end of the tour on this part of the section of the ship so, let's see. There has to be something else around here, right? Come on. There's got to be something else. Give me more, baby. Give me more. Come on. Give me more stuff. Come on, Mojang. Give me some more. Gonna eat a cookie. All right. There we go. That's my last cookie down. Let's let's actually run around a little bit. Oh, dear. Creeper. Nope. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't follow me. Oh! Creeper again. Okay. Okay. Gonna run away. Gonna run away. Gonna run away. Actually, let's go inside this giant area right there. Like the main Mars Tower. Let's just I'm just gonna call it Mars Tower. Right, give me a little bit of a flight. Thank you very much. And this is actually, it's getting a little bit of a scale on what the top looks like. It's pretty normal standard. But on the way it's built, it looks like this will actually be like real life in the future. Like plans for NASA, Mars, SpaceX, all this sort. Alright, let's take a look at this whole tower. It goes past the actual sky limits too. Not bad, actually. This must have took in forever to make. Well, what block is this made out of? I'm really curious. Actually, you know what? Let's go into creative. Let's actually get a little bit of pumpkin pie, actually, because I want some pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. Oh! <laughs> looks like some sort of cake or another type of book. It looks like the book we were holding earlier, except it's white, not blue. Alright, let's get a diamond pickaxe and a diamond sword. Won't it hurt as well? Right, real quickly, let's see if we can break this. Okay, we can't. Well, this actually might be obscene from the way it's breaking and how long it's taking, even with the pickaxe. Because it's not bedrock. Whoa, this is obsidian. It's so weird seeing it white. It's like from evil dark obsidian to like clear pure obsidian. That is actually really, really nice looking. Let's see. Can we break into this? Yep, we can break. Oh, this is actually glowstone, right? Yep, this is actual glowstone. All right, eat a bit of this. Mmm, so good. All right, wee! Oh, all right. I was, I was actually going to say wee, but I actually went wee instead because my voice is a little bit dry at the moment. Ah! Oh! All right. That's, it seems to be just like some sort of probably 
my guess might on the Mass Effect series is probably some sort of like control tower or maybe some like emergency like base thing. It kind of reminds me of the Star Wars scene where um when um what is it like where it shows Luke falling down from the Death Star's core. Like he's like ah like when he falls after he gets his hand chopped off. Especially when like the lights on the sides might. Let Actually, let's compare. It. Let's compare it. Go watch it really quickly. Well, watch it after and compare it to this. How does that look? Oh my! <laughs> just save myself. I just save myself. Look at this. That is so crazy. Okay, but enough goofing around. Let's go on with the tour. Let me just um break through this. What is this? Clay? Dirt? What is this? Looks like probably this actually looks like the um, the rust from Mars's actual um actual um atmosphere not atmosphere. <laughs> I mean, um, the soil, like the soil, it's because at, um, the, the crust of Mars and the outer shell and whatever you basically rock, or whatever you walk on, basically, the minute you touch on the surface of it, it's made of rust, iron oxide, pretty much. A little bit of a space fact for that, too. Right, let me just do a little bit of painful popcorn, there we go. This place is very huge, though, Mars, I have to give it. Well, you pretty much explored this whole entire thing. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. No, we didn't. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. All right, let's break in. We gotta break, break in, break in, break in. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! What is that now? Okay, I'm about to actually get- Oh! Whew! Good thing I have this helmet on. See, boys, that's another reason why you should become a race car driver. Right? Quickly, quickly, quickly! Alright, this is chiseled stone bricks. Gonna be a little bit tough to get through that. Alright, let's see. Let's check out the place. Nothing? Really? Come on, there's gotta be something more than that. Nothing. Okay. So it seems like a lot of the place seems to be more based on design. Well, I'm pretty sure you can't get on the side. So let me just eat a little bit more pumpkin pie real quick. And let's just go right through here. And still take a skull. Oh, nope. That's the wooden pickaxe. <laughs> uh, still take a skull. Might I want to answer because I don't want to be rude. But I have to carry on with the video. So sorry, still take out if you're watching this at some point in the future while I'm when this is uploaded. I promise I'll call you back, which I probably did. Actually, wait, this is actually the area that's across from here. So it looks like it probably got blocked, maybe? Maybe that's some sort of part of the game? No, this just seems to be an empty abandoned area, Mites. Look, see nothing. Oh, I probably could have just smashed through the glass. That would have been so much easier from the beginning, wouldn't it? All right, let me just quickly, oh wait, diamond pickaxe. Let me just throw away the wooden one. I mean, it looks nice and all, but it's wood. I'm not really gonna need it. Right, quickly. Oh, okay, even with a diamond pickaxe, it's actually pretty tough. What is this, iron bar? Oh, no, it's a fence. This must be nether brick or something. This is, um, oak. Oh, no wonder. <laughs> no wonder it's, uh, it's supposed to be made from, it's from what? We're supposed to break this with an axe, not a pickaxe. Do I don't have one. Okay, boy, so honestly, if I'm pretty much, I'm going to be um, 100% honest with all of you. The, whoa, the moon looks circle, more circular, too. I have to admit. This place looks really good, but my lights, unfortunately, looks like that actually might be the end of the video because most of it seems to be really probably built in the game sections of the whole entire Mass Effect series because a lot of it is pretty much empty on the whole entire thing. Wait, 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 wait. Is there like a mini elevator of some sort? Can we actually get through here? Um, no, pretty much not. Not at all. Wait, unless we can break through this light. And there's nothing. Okay, so for now on, let's go see. Um, let's just look around. So let's actually take a look at some of the villages and whatnot. Whoa. Okay, buddy, you are really an alien. Look at you. Got four eyes. You got um. Well, to him, we're aliens. Honestly. Oh, is that a zombie? Oh, yep, that's a zombie. I have to admit, he looks really, really cool, mines. He looks really, really cool. All right, so let's actually look around at some of the buildings and whatnot. So looks like to be just red, regular grayish structures, very villager-like. That's the same one. Yep, buddy, that's the same one as before. So let's see, is there any more structures or anything around the whole entire area? Maybe we can look around. Nope. Nope, mice. It looks like that seems to be practically. Wait, nope. That's a pool of lava. But I did see a village over here, which seems to be much more bigger. So. Let's actually go, before we end off the video, let's actually go explore this place real quick. All right. Eat a pumpkin pie. Ah, delicious. Right, real quick. Oh, whoa. Excuse me, ma'am. Sorry about bursting out like that. But my, I say, you look very beautiful. That is very, I like, I like this design, Mike. I like all designs in the villagers so far. Oh, no, I've only seen two. Wait, is this another one? Oh, sorry, ma'am. Didn't mean to barge in once again. The water and lava seems to be like um, relatively the same. Water and lava. All right. But actually, ooh, what's this? Probably wheat, right? This is regular seeds. Um, regular seeds. Oh! <laughs> wow, they got some pretty efficient villagers here, don't they? Alright, let me see. 
Come on! Ah, okay, nothing. Just a bunch of seeds. Oh, wait, mods, wait, wait, wait. Okay, these are fully- they actually look more like flowers than wheat mods. They actually look like pure flowers, like sunflowers than, than wheat, honestly. Wait, that's probably a carrot. Yep, these are carrots. Oh, they pretty much look like normal carrots. Just a little bit more shinier and a little more polished for the actual texture pack. Alright. And what is this? This is more sunflower seeds whatnot, right? Uh, yep, sunflower seeds. Oh no, no, actually, they are sunflower seeds now, right there, they actually are. Sorry about that, I meant to see seeds, not sunflower seeds, because I was actually eating some earlier. The, the bag is pro pretty much still on my bed. Let's check out the back of this area, I didn't see these before. Oh, these are like solar panels, so we can generate power from the sun. Very, very handy, very, very smart, and very, very nice looking. I especially like the way how it's not really like a flat, flat diagonal pattern, so they had to make it out of like um weird shaped blocks pretty much. But mites, unfortunately, it looks like that's going to be at the end of the video. So hopefully you all enjoyed it. There we are, back from the start. So yes, as you can see, back from the start, all the way around the entire world. Well, uh, more like around the area, a couple a couple of yards. But anyways, mites, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Please give a like and subscribe. Yes, mites, I will see you all later. Later, guys.